wasn't bad. a little adventure so we're going on a camping trip it's not that far but it's the farthest probably I went on this car as far as a road trip which is going to be Jonathan Dickinson State Park so if I'm fully charged this is my GPS one hour and 12 minute ride it's a 60 mile trip so I don't have to stop to supercharge or anything and I also have a extension cord if I want to charge at the camping trip and I'm gonna show you guys around I'm gonna show you what I was able to fit in this car Right off the bat it says, if I leave there now, I'm gonna have 67% of battery, and by the time I get back, it's gonna be 37% charge. So I don't even have to charge out there, but we're still gonna plug it in, since we have that option too. Let me show you guys what I was able to fit in the car. So I have both trunk and the front open. I was able to put my seats down and fit a lot of stuff. I actually still have some room in here. So I have my little cooler in here. In the back I have my boosted board. Here is a laptop underneath. I have some box here where I'm gonna buy some stuff right now as far as food. I have my clothing. There is a little compartment here where I have a little speaker and an Insta360 camera. It is my camping equipment bag, my tent just in case, some clothing. I have my Manfrotto bag here which fits all my extra gear, my sleeping bag and it's still kind of roomy in here. There's still plenty of space. This is just my cooler and I have my EcoFlow Delta power station. Here's my new mattress which I'm gonna test out today let's see how it goes I also brought my regular mattress to just see if there's any difference that I've been using for camping before I don't know what's the name of it I looks like an alpha to me I'm gonna have a link in my description so you guys could check it out for yourself and it fits nice and snug in here so I'm ready to go here's how I mount my camera it's a pretty cool rig actually it is super strong it's only about 20 bucks I'm also gonna link it in the description and this is just a standard Joby um, or a Manfrotto plate that you can mount any pretty much Joby or Manfrotto compatible tripod. I'm gonna stop at the gas station. <laughs> As a gas station, I have no idea why. But I'm gonna stop at Publix first to get some food and we're gonna get some ice. I'm curious if I'm actually gonna have enough space in the car to sleep because all I've been seeing online is how people are sleeping in the car and it's cool and I've actually been always a fan of that even if it's illegal to do in a lot of places but it's fun it's something that always excited me because you can pretty much just stop anywhere you want take a nap go to sleep and the best part you can have the AC running all night and that's another thing we're gonna test out how much battery it actually drained using the AC all night at the same time we're gonna charge and see if it's actually gonna give us any extra charge while using the AC using the regular outlet today is Easter by the way so happy Easter and it looks like Publix is closed for either Easter or construction. I'm not sure what's going on here. So we're going to try to stop somewhere else. Two hours later, literally. And I finally made it to Whole Foods because everything else is closed. So I pretty much got the rest of the stuff that I needed. And we're ready. Finally we arrived, let me guys show you this location. They have a whole outlet set up here with the Nemo 1450 on the left and some other standard outlet for the RVs I assume. And then we got two regular outlets with 120 volts. That is the one we're going to be using today. We got some water, plenty of space in here, just a bench. Let's see, a little place for the campfire and the barbecue okay i'm actually going to plug it in right away just to see how much how many miles i'm getting per hour and yeah the charger is 
somewhere there, I'm pretty sure. And here's the charger, so let's plug it in. Ta -da! That is telling me that I'm gonna have 16 hours to wait before I fully charge, which is pretty much overnight, which is not bad. And if I turn on AC, which I'm gonna do at night, right now it's gonna be on at full blast. Right off the bat, my charging rate went down to zero. Zero miles an hour. We're gonna open this up and fill it up with air. And let's see how it's gonna lay down here. So we'll take this off. The material looks pretty nice. It looks like it's high quality. Okay, I have a sleeping bag here as well. And looks like I'm just gonna connect the pump to my car outlet. There are two holes in this. So one is to suck the air in and one is to fill it up. There is a hole just for this pillow section. And now there's another hole that fills up the actual mattress. And that was done pretty quick. And there's another part here. It feels like it's, I feel like it's gonna blow up right now. So I'm gonna go shut it down. There's a lot of space, I can tell you that. And it's cool because the roof is just straight glass. And yeah, I mean, two people can easily fit in here. The only thing is this fills up separately. So there's like one section here, another section here. And that cable won't reach all the way here. So you would have to fill it up the other way. You would have to flip it around, fill it up, and then flip it back in. But I don't really care, so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. So I'm gonna try to go inside for the first time and see if I actually got enough room. Shoes off before you get into my house. Here we go. Put this away. Let's close this door. Wow, this is not bad. Like, I'm, I'm 5'10". And I fit completely in. Are you serious? This is so cool. Look at this, completely. That piece I didn't blow up because you have to have like a extension cord to run it. But like this is not bad. You see there's a phone there. So yeah, I'm pretty comfy in here. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so easily there could be one more person can fit in here. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> and what I like, there's like enough space here. I wonder if this goes up. No, it doesn't because that's where the speakers go and stuff. But it's kind of cool because you can actually put some pizza in here and have pizza, you know? There you go. If you want to like destroy your car completely. So it's probably cool to actually park on a little hill because it feels like you kind of tilt it down. That's the only thing. Good night. wasn't bad. I guess since you clicked on this video, you are interested to know if it was actually comfortable for me to sleep in the Tesla all night using the setup that I had. Quick answer, yeah, it was pretty comfortable. I slept in the car before, but it was never actually as comfortable as it was in here. But there are a couple things that I would like to mention, of course. So the good things are, it's comfortable. When it got cold, I was just able to turn on the AC from the phone app, which was super cool. Before, I would have to turn on the car, actually get up and push the brake, turn on the AC, turn it off, and it would get loud and all that. Here, I was just able to do it from the phone app. I turn it on, I turn it off the same way. Another cool thing is you can roll down the windows. Uh, there's a feature, it's called Vent. In the app, when I wanted some air so I actually just pressed the vent feature on the app and all four windows just went down just a little bit and I got some fresh air in so that was cool also I'm not sure if it's because of the mattress that I have or because I was carrying a lot of heavy things yesterday my back was kind of hurting and yeah I woke up a couple times during the night but that was about it my experience was pretty positive I also like the mat. You can actually use the same little pump 
to suck their air in. So that was actually pretty cool. I used the pump to suck their air in and I didn't have trouble folding it because it was so easy and it actually fits in the baggage like it should. You know, like a lot of times you get a mattress or a tent, you put it back together and there's no way you can fit it back in. And here it was so simple because pretty much all the air was sucked in perfectly. And all I did is put it back in the bag and just put it in my trunk. And that's about it. And it's worth to mention that I'm 5'10 and I still probably had like this much of space. You can even be like 5'12 and you will still fit. And then also another thing is because the seats don't fall down completely flat, there's like a little angle like this, you kind of sleep angled, I don't know, maybe like 3 or 5%. So at first I felt it and I was like, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to like it. But you get used to it after like 10 minutes laying down and you don't really care after, so that's not a big deal at all. Question if I would use this as the permanent solution instead of the campground regular tent? Probably not. I would sleep like a day or two and I would love to mix it because it's kind of pain in the butt to take everything out and it's good because I had my friends with me. It keeps screaming me. I'm on autopilot and it keeps screaming me to touch the steering wheel. So I have to touch it every like 30 seconds or so. It was nice because my friends were with me and I was able to have all my equipment and all my stuff and I just put it in their van opposed to trying to fit it in here and because the car is new I didn't want to just like pile up stuff on the front seat and stuff like that so that was helpful but if you are traveling by yourself you will have to put all your stuff up front because obviously you're going to be laying down in the back it's probably nice to have tinted windows i didn't really care because i am at the park by the way i am still in the park and i thought i will take you guys on this scenic road it looks so cool here right now it's just beautiful we might stay in a day we just went kayaking and we saw a turtle, so that was that. From the time I came to the time we left the campground, I actually got almost 100 miles charged back to my battery using a regular outlet. I got here with 161 miles and it charged all the way to 255-ish. 100 miles, free electricity, no paying for gas, love it. And if I would have my Nemo 1450 adapter, I would actually get even more. I'm kind of freaking out right now because it's literally making a whole turn by itself, but it did it. It would charge even faster, but since I already had enough of charge, it was good enough for me because right now my battery is actually pretty charged. And it's not even recommended to charge over 80% and I'm having like almost 100 right now. But for trips like this, I feel a little bit more safe to have a little extra mileage opposed to where I'm driving in the city where I know that I'm gonna be at home in 30 minutes or so and I'll be able to charge back. Woo! The autopilot just turned off so I had to make this turn by myself. So that's why they warn you to, of course, always keep your hands on the steering wheel and be ready to take over in a situation like this. The marking in the middle is not as clear. For example, this turn here right now, it's clear, so it's gonna make it, watch. See, it's doing the whole turn by itself without me touching even the steering wheel or anything, I can even make it go faster. It'll be fine, but again, it's gonna kind of scream at me in like 30 seconds or so because you still have to touch it. So that was it. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this. I hope it helped you to make up your mind if you should take your Tesla on a camping trip like this and if it's worth it to sleep in the car. And um, I also put the link in the description for the mattress that I was using as well as my referral link to get your own Tesla. If you will buy the Tesla we use in my link, you will get 1,000 miles, so as I, free supercharging. So it's a win-win. Love the car, see you next time. Peace, guys.